Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In the last episode we went to the moon. It wasn't bad, okay? We still got a guy up there, we'll worry about that in another episode. Today, <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing is trying to build a space plane. I actually tried to record this video already and it failed uh, catastrophically multiple times. And then when I actually went back to look at the footage, I realized that I did not put up my landing gear once in flight. <laughs> and that probably had a huge effect because if you don't put up your landing gear, you're really gonna fuck up flying because aerodynamics and shit okay so we're gonna try again and this time it's gonna work okay good so what's the first thing you want to do if you want to build a spaceship you're gonna have to get a cockpit we're gonna go with the mk2 because apparently that's like a, a good one they had this mod called the space plane plus or something like that and they added it to the full game and it includes a bunch of stuff for this cockpit so uh, i'm gonna use it so in the middle I'm going to use uh, liquid fuel because I'm going to be attaching the jet engines to that one and the jet engine uses liquid fuel. And I'm going to use a bicolop, bicolop, bicoupler. I can't talk today so uh, I'm just going to I'm just gonna roll with it. Uh, I'm going to use the bicoupler back here and I think you can actually edit it and take the oxidizer out. I don't want no oxidizer. It's going to take up space I think, take, take up like weight and, and it's not going to be using oxidizer. So that's done and now we're going to put on some uh, jet engines. So we're going to use two turbojet engines here, because those are the ones you use to get into space, because they're really good. Okay, that's done. So far, so good. Plane doesn't look too bad, right? <laughs> so I'm told, I looked up online, because I already tried to do this crap and it didn't really work, that the Aerospike rocket is really good. It has a max thrust of 175, which is, which is really good in comparison to some of these here, and it's really small. So I'm going to use that, and it looks like it's the same size as these, so that's good. We'll just, we're just going to put some fuel on the side here. Uh, the this one will work. This and I don't want to. I don't know how much fuel to put on, guys. I, honestly, I'm not really sure how much fuel is the right amount of fuel to put on. So I'm just gonna go with this and then see how it turns out. Last time I had a lot of people that were just cringing at me when I played this game because it was just awful. And uh, I get it. Okay, I get it. I'm not a very good Kerbal Space programmer. That's fine. You're not here to watch really good stuff, or you wouldn't be on my channel in the first place, would you? Okay, so these are the tanks I'm going to use. I'm going to put the toroidal aero spike thingy my bobber on the back here like this. Those ones there. Nice and small. Don't take up a lot of space on a plane. Should help with the aerodynamics, right? I don't know. See, like, this this plane looks good. That's the thing. I, I, I can make planes look okay. I can make them look decent, but I can't get them to fly. And that seems to be my problem here. But uh, we're just going to put some wings on here, and we're going to throw it into space. And everything is going to be cool. My plane looks like a bird. <laughs> flip, 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 flip. Okay, now I'm told that the best thing to do here, guys, is actually to angle. Oh, oh, not that way. Angle them up a little bit. I'm not gonna angle them very much at all. Angle them up a little bit. Apparently, it makes it a little bit more stable. I don't know. Maybe. Oh shit. Okay. All right. We got a problem. We got we got a pretty big problem here. Our center of lift is way too far ahead of our center of mass. How do we fix that? Uh, we need to bring things back. That's what we need to do. So we need to bring these wings back. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. We'll just add some ele elevons here. There's a weird word, elevon. There, and now our center of lift is just behind our center of gravity. Look at that. Look, I think we got our whole plane here. I think we got a whole plane. We got the thingies for lifting, and the other thingies for lifting, and the thingies for making it stable, and we got the things for putting the air in there, and it should fly, right? That's how things work. It just flies now. I don't, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's fly it. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 we have action groups we have to do, we have to make some action groups here, we need to name our plane, we need to name our plane, alright, I cannot think of a good name for this plane, so we're just gonna call it, hope it's not shit, because I hope it's not shit, you know what I mean? Now guys, in terms of staging, we're gonna have our jet engines going first, and the other ones going second, and aside from that, we need to set action groups so that we can turn things on and off, like the intakes, so that we can do that with our action groups thing here, we're gonna go, gear, gear is fine, Gear needs to stay the way it is, and then we need to have a custom one here. We're going to take our air intakes, just like that one, and that one, and more air intakes on the front. Though, Hey, hey, what are you doing? Toggle intake, now these ones here, toggle intake. Now these two guys right here are going to be toggled with number two, and the other ones are going to be toggled with number three, okay? And it's going to work perfectly. I don't know if I need any kind of like struts on here or anything. I put them on the last plane I made, but uh, how about no? How about we don't put any struts on here? Let's just let's just fire this thing up, okay? Boom! It should go straight, okay? And uh, my my hardest thing when I'm making planes is actually getting them to go up in the air. Like honestly, they they never actually 
get up into the air until they get to the end of the runway, and I don't really know why. But I'm going to try. I'm just going to keep pulling up, and eventually it's going to go up in the air, right? Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. This is the hard part for me, okay? I need it to tilt up more. I, I guess I could put the front landing gear down a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Let's just go. See? Get out the runway, and you're good. You are golden. Bring your uh, gear up like this. Tilt her up about 45 degrees, apparently, is what you want to do. And then you just want to go, okay? You just want to go into space. The next thing you need to do is you need to keep an eye on your, uh, where is it? Where is the stuff? Where is the air intake? Intake air. We have three on the intake air right now, and that's slowly going to go down uh, pretty fast, actually. And but when it gets to .01, your rockets will cut out. Your, your jet engines will cut out, so you don't want to get there. So when we go up a little bit further, I'm actually going to level out. I'm actually going to start leveling out now. Let's level out a little bit, okay? We want to get a lot of horizontal speed, but not a lot of vertical speed. Because when we get more horizontal speed, we get more intake air, and we can stay up higher longer, okay? I learned that from Scott Manley. He's an amazing person, and he really knows how to play KSP. And I don't at all. Now, if we actually take a quick look at our, our at our thing here, we have actually have an apoapsis of 18,000. So we are getting up there. We're go we're going to reach it eventually, um, uh, but we won't because we're going to run out of air. So the intake air is going down pretty low, but we're not done speeding up. I want to go at least a thousand meters per second because that's a really good number. We're going to shut off. We're going to shut down the engines in like two seconds, and shut those down and shut that down and go into space. I think. I think this should work, right? We're going to go into space now. I don't want to lose all our liquid fuel or anything trying to get up here, okay? So just hurry up and get up into space. Okay, you see this right here? Do you see this? You see this apoapsis? 77,000. That is good. We are good now. We can actually go up here. When we get to the top, we can do a burn. I'm actually going to set that maneuver node here. Look at this. Look at this maneuver node. Let's spin it around town. Whoop. Okay. All right, what's the other one? 300,000. Jesus Christ. No, no thank you. We have to do a 752 meters per second burn. I don't know how much that's going to use up. We're, we can click a button down here. I learned someone, one of you guys mentioned that you can actually uh, click the buttons down here to turn certain ways. We're going to go with a retrograde. We need, no, 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 prograde. We need to do a prograde burn. Okay. We're going to turn right here. And slowly that little blue thing is actually going to get closer to the yellow thing as we get closer to where we need to burn. And the burn is in a minute and something seconds. So we're actually going to just speed it up a little bit. Okay. I'd say at about 15 seconds, I'll start burning. It doesn't take very long to do a burn like this, trust me. Don't run out of liquid fuel, whatever you do. We need to get into orbit when we need to get back out of orbit again. So uh, so hopefully, oh crap, we're going to run out, aren't we? Well, that's not too bad because the thing is, the thing is, I got, I got liquid fuel on the other one, remember? And I can just switch it out, I think. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm going to do if I have to. Come on. And there we go. That's that's good enough. We got a little bit of liquid fuel left. Don't know if we have any oxidizer left. We need oxidizer, don't we? This is going to suck if we can't get back down out of here. But I made it into space. Look at this. We're in space, okay? Enjoy it for a minute. Maybe I shouldn't have took the oxidizer out of the other one. Maybe I should have left it in there. Maybe that would have helped. I don't know. You guys can tell me. You guys can tell me what went wrong with my plane. Why my plane isn't as good as it could be right now, okay? And I will really appreciate it. It's going to be great advice. Let's cancel this thing here, okay? Let's cancel it. And we're going to come back around. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and get down here somewhere onto land if possible. We just need to bring it down. It doesn't have to be a super good burn. I don't I think that's probably good enough cuz we're going to use the atmosphere to slow us down. It's called like uh what's that stuff called again? It's called aero braking. I think it's called aero braking. That's the stuff. We we can actually bring this really far. We'll bring it really far and we'll do lots of aero braking cuz I don't have a lot of a lot of stuff left. See? See, now it's saying that we're going to have a 2,000 meter periapsis. That doesn't even make sense, okay? And that's a good thing. We're just going to we're just gonna start, like, arrow breaking down here somewhere, I think. And that'll hopefully bring us over land. This is really risky, I think. Like, it's not going to work that well because I don't really know what I'm doing. But if we can get it to work at all, we should be able to, like, get down on the earth somewhere. Or Kerbin or whatever you, whatever you want to call this thing, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna burn right on the uh, right on the actual node, I think. So I'm just gonna like go burn. Come on! Oh, we actually did it. Look at that. Oh, oh, a little too much, but it doesn't really matter. We're fine. We're fine. There's no such thing as too much. Okay, we're gonna come down, and we're gonna we're gonna touch the land somewhere. Okay, we can actually burn a little bit more. Why don't we burn a little bit more? Okay, let's burn off our fuel. There, we burnt off our fuel. Everything's gonna be fine. 
You know, guys, what I would really like to do is actually take this plane, um, modify it so that it has a has a docking bay on it, and then stick it on a space station, refuel it, and then send it to other planets and things like that. That's what I'd like to do. Um, this is obviously not, obviously not a very good design because it barely got into space. But uh, if you guys know how to improve this design to make it better, you let me know. Uh, you guys left me a lot of really good suggestions in the last episode, and that was really appreciated. So uh, I, I'll take those into uh, into mind when I actually build things. It's a nice plane, though. I think it's a nice plane. Whether or not it's actually good for flying, that's a different story. Okay, forty thousand. I don't know. I don't know how far down we actually had to be before we actually start uh, passing through the atmosphere. These guys are happy in here. Okay, they're doing good. They're having a good time. That that means that things are gonna go okay, right? I think things are gonna go okay. Alright guys, now there's one problem here, and that is the fact that I'm going to be flying over mountains. I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but uh, I am actually coming down, okay? I'm coming down through the air, and I think I'm going to be able to land this plane. I could fly over the mountains first, okay? I could do that, and then we could land it afterwards. I don't really want to land on something too unstable. I wish I knew where the uh, where the space station is. Who Do you guys know how to put waypoints in this game? Because I looked it up online and could not find any information on it. So I don't really know how to get from point A to point B on the actual um, on the actual Kerbin map or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna shut off my engines. I think that's what you're supposed to do here. Shut them off, and just kind of glide in. Very very slowly. Put down the landing gear. You should probably put down the landing gear. That'll help. Okay. Point it upwards. Oh, look at that. Look at look at her go. Okay. I said I hoped it wasn't shit, and it wasn't shit. Oh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Bit too slow there, buddy. Bit too, bit too high up. Calm, calm it down. There. Oh, oh, break. What's the break button? I don't know. It breaks. That's the one. Oh, okay. Ah, we did it. We landed. I actually managed to get a space plane up in the air and back down without killing the people on board. Shellrich and Organ, you are welcome, okay? This could have been so much worse. So you guys better be happy. Or at least semi... What was that? He just made a movement. I think it might have been a clap. I think he clapped. I think they're clapping for me. No, they're probably not clapping for me. All right, guys. Well, obviously, I'm going to end this video here considering I set out to do what I wanted to do. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.